We convince Elvira Martuk to give up what she knows about Marco Quent, become best buds with the Sirius Corporation, and then make a beeline for Lucifer, the home of Quent's research base. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to The View from My Cockpit. So last week, we unlocked Elvira Martuk and set off to ally with the Sirius Corporation. As I mentioned in the previous episode, I thought grade 3 engineering with Elvira was all I needed for her to introduce me to Marco Quent. But as I discovered, I was completely wrong on this point, as the inbox message from Marco Quent stubbornly refused to appear. So I made the trip back to see Elvira to get her to do a bit more work on my ASP Explorer. To get that last little bit of engineering reputation, I decided to actually see if there was any upgrades that I could do to my ASP Explorer in the higher tiers, such as three or two that I'd unlocked previously. Doing upgrades in these areas will increase your percentage bar faster, but they will take more resources and generally harder to find resources. I was lucky enough to have all the resources that I needed to do the upgrades that I wanted. So here I added grade two clean drive tuning. Wasn't the greatest roll of all time, but a substantial upgrade to my thrusters nonetheless. Next, I went for some grade three reinforced shields, figuring that in an exploration ship, some enhanced shields definitely can go a long way when you hit a little bit too hard on those high mass planets, but also if you have the bad luck of running into a nasty pilot on your way home. I was pretty happy with this roll, maxing out almost all the positive effects and even getting a reduction in power draw. I was happy to see that none of these upgrades affected my jump range and it appears now that Alvira saw fit to introduce me to the one and only Marco Quent, as well as one Zachariah Nemo, who specializes in fragmentation and multi-cannons. But for now, I need to ally with the Sirius Corporation. And to do that, I decided to head to systems that had the Sirius Corporation as one of the minor factions offering up missions. There's actually quite a few ways to gain reputation with the Sirius Corporation. The method I chose doing missions definitely works, but I imagine it might have taken me longer to accomplish the goal than some other methods that I learned about afterwards. You can actually submit exploration data, redeem bounty vouchers, and conduct trading to increase your reputation with a minor faction. The only caveat to this rule is that that minor faction needs to be the controlling faction of the station that you're turning that data into. I'm actually really interested to hear what your guys' thoughts and ideas are for increasing your reputation with a minor faction, whether it be the serious corporation or just any minor faction in a system that you want to increase your reputation with. I did all kinds of missions to increase my reputation with the Sirius Corporation, from donations to courier missions to boom data deliveries, and then some really fun ones like taking out sentry skimmers and planetary scan jobs.
And here it is, the permit acquisition opportunity for the Sirius system. I was expecting this to actually be a mission that I had to complete, but as soon as I accepted it, boom, I had the permit. So that was pretty cool. I found it a little bit amusing that basically throughout my entire process of trying to ally with the Sirius Corporation, this mission was sitting there in the unattainable section for almost the entire time. And as soon as I was actually able to accept this mission, it disappeared and I had to wait a little while for it to respawn back into the available missions. But with my permit in hand, I plotted a course for Patterson Enterprise in the Sirius system. Safely docked at Patterson Enterprise, it was time to look for what turned out to be a very elusive engineer invitation mission. It took me about a day to find the mission using multiple methods, including board swapping, as well as just logging in to Elite Dangerous from time to time throughout my evening and the next day. If you don't know what board swapping is, it's basically just going back to the main menu and logging into solo, open, and private groups, hoping the mission board will refresh with an updated list of entries. Ultimately though, board swapping didn't save the day for me. I logged into Elite Dangerous during my lunch break one day and the mission was just sitting there waiting for me. Sadly though, at the time of this recording, to the best of my knowledge, my friend Commander Ox Bullseye, who actually achieved allied with the Sirius Corporation before I did and acquired the permit to the Sirius system, is still hoping to find this engineer invitation contract. It's been over a week for him now, so if any of you out there have any tips or ideas about how he can actually acquire that contract, I'm sure he would be extremely ecstatic to hear whatever you have to say. I, however, am off to Davies Station in the Epsilon Eridani system to deliver some critical data. Or at least it better be critical data. After putting in so much time, sweat, and tears into acquiring the mission in the first place. safe and sound at Davies Station, let's turn in that engineer invitation contract and see what happens next. I was a little worried at this point that there was going to be another wait or another mission that we had to pick up to actually get the invitation. But as soon as I completed the mission, I had an invitation from Marco Quent in my inbox. And the third and final aspect to unlocking Marco Quent is to acquire and deliver 25 modular terminals. And at this point, I have eight of them sitting in my hold that were rewards for completed missions. So with a permit to the Sirius system in hand, an ally to the corporation, and eight modular terminals in my hold, I set off to meet this elusive Marco Quent.
Arriving at Quent Research Base has definitely been a journey so far, but with only 8 modular terminals to donate and 17 more to acquire, there's still a little bit left to do before I can start working on that invitation to Professor Palin. If you have any tips or advice on how to acquire modular terminals, I'd love to hear about those in the comments. And be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. It's one of the best ways to let me know that you want to see more Elite Dangerous content. If you're new to my channel and want to be notified when I release new videos or when I go live, don't forget to subscribe. My active series at the moment, of course, includes Elite Dangerous, as well as Astro and Space Engineers. If these games either aren't what you're looking for at the moment or you just want more, there's over a thousand videos on my channel for you to choose from. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. You all have an absolute great one, and I'll see you out there in the black.